Hello everyone and welcome to this video on maintenance and today's goal is to learn about the best maintenance practices for your computer and we're going to cover two topics first is hardware maintenance then we're going to cover software maintenance now when we talk about software maintenance it's going to be a little intro of software maintenance as our next few videos we'll talk about uh, more of software maintenance in depth so let's talk, start with hardware maintenance to start off, we have search protectors, which are often found on power strips. So a search protector is a device that protects other electrical devices from voltage spikes. Now, there are some power strips that are not search protectors. Only power strips with the label transient voltage search suppressor are search protectors. And there are some metrics that you want to look at when you're buying a search protector. First is the absorption ratings. You want it to be six to 700 joules. In this case, higher the better. And clamping voltage, where you'll get 400 voltage or less. Uh, the devices that you want to plug into your search protectors, anything like computers, modems, routers, monitors, printers, devices, or device chargers. And also, you don't want to nest or um, stack search protectors on another search protector uh, for per an outlet you want to put one search protector uh, on it and if you need more power um, slots I guess you should plug in a different search protector on this uh, another outlet or even get a bigger search protector let's talk about cleaning so um, to maintain your hardware the best thing to do is keep it clean especially the device itself and the space around it so usually you find stuff like dust, which is fine particle of pollen, human and animal hair, textile fiber, paper fiber, food particles, and skin cells. Then you can also find oil, germ, and bacteria, especially on your peripherals that you often interact with your computer and devices often. And you can also invite living things, especially computer components heat up, heats up, so it can attract unwanted living things such as spiders or even rodents. So let's talk about keyboard cleaning. First thing you wanna do is unplug the keyboard before cleaning. Then you flip your keyboard and gently shake to remove any dirt or dust that you can uh, remove off by shaking it. Then you wanna use a can of compressed air to clean between the keys so that um, you can get all this, the dust and any other things stuck in, inside the keyboard keys with can of compressed air. You can also use a cotton cloth or a paper towel with rubbing alcohol to clean the top of the key so you don't ever want to pour alcohol into your keyboard because that would destroy your keyboard. And lastly, you want the keyboard to uh, air dry before use. Much like cleaning the keyboard, you can clean the mouse the same way. You unplug the mouse before cleaning, use cotton cloth or a paper towel with rubbing alcohol to clean the surface. You can use can of compressed air if needed for the buttons. And then for optical mice, which are laser based, make sure the light emitter at the bottom of your mouse is nice and clean as well. Then we go into our monitor. First, turn off the computer and unplug the monitor from your computer and the power ports. You want to use a soft, clean cloth that's moistened, moist not soaking wet with water to wipe the screen. You never spray any liquids directly onto the screen when you are cleaning your monitor. Then let's talk about cleaning the inside of the computer. Uh, first, I want you to note that always shut down and unplug your computer from a power source and other external connectors before cleaning. To start off, you should move to an open area, which is uncarpeted. You will be using can of compressed air, not a dusting cloth nor a vacuum. And make sure you want it static free because static can also destroy computer components. And you want to keep the can of compressed air upright and don't let frost form on the components as you blow the dust away with your can of compressed air. You might want to practice before use. All right, so uh, in order to keep it clean and maintain, you also want to keep your computer cool. So you want to allow for airflow. Don't put your computer in an enclosed space. Uh, don't put it anywhere that's near uh, like a fireplace or heater. You want to keep your computer cool. Your PC should, your PC case should be closed and so that you can let air flow much better. And, but also your case will protect your computer from dust and other things as well. You want to improve your CPU cooler, bear, you can install better air fans or liquid cooling. You can also install case fans on your case as it allows, and also you might want to not overclock so that your processor uh, runs at the optimal temperature. <clears throat> Let's talk about software maintenance. Uh, first thing you want to do is have malware protection. Malware is malicious and unwanted software that attacks your computer. 
So little tips, always use your computer with an antivirus software. Always keep your firewall and antivirus software updated and don't go to and don't download from suspicious websites. Moving on, you wanna clean and optimize your system. All your software within your computer should be at their best. So update all your applications whenever prompted. You wanna use disk cleanup or disk defragmenters and other software that cleans your applications and your system. And last, and thirdly, you want to also practice good file management so that you keep your hard drives and whatnot organized. It, organized. And then you want to delete old and unused files and applications that you don't use, especially because if they don't get updated or neglected, sometimes they might be a backdoor for hackers and viruses and malware to get into your system. Next, you want to back up data. In case of computer and system failures, you want to back up your software, use external or online services for backing up your data, and any important software keys and software should be backed up on a different source other than your computer. Uh, next, internet browsing practices. To keep an optimal computer browsing the internet safely is important. Keep your browser updated. Use browsers that support extensions such as Chrome, Firefox, Safari because you want to install an ad blocker. Next, you want to encrypt your communication with websites. You want to visit websites that are uh, hypertext uh, protocol with secure. And then don't visit or download from suspicious sites and don't connect to open and unsecure networks. At least don't log into any accounts in such networks. So we talked about um, just different ways to maintain your computer for especially the hardware and the software part of our computer. So thank you for watching and stay classy.